The Texas legislature will vote on hundreds of bills each session. Often those debates can get overlooked, even on critical legislation. That's why we've asked legislators to come to TPPF to talk about their bills to make sure you stay on top of the most important issues making their way through the Capitol. This is The Layout. I'm Zach Whiting, Policy Director for the Better Tech for Tomorrow campaign, and today I'm with Representative Jared Patterson. Representative Patterson, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So today we're discussing uh, HB 896, a bill to prohibit uh, social media companies from exploiting minors. And the first question I wanted to ask is, tell us why you feel there's a need to prohibit social media uh, platform use by children. What was the problem that you saw that needs to be addressed? Well, you know, conversations with uh, local school leaders, uh, local uh, law enforcement leaders uh, kind of led me down this path. And the fact of the matter is, is that from 2000 to 2007, uh, there was a decline in self-harm and suicide rates amongst adolescents in, in the United States. But since 2007, those rates have tripled. And what we're seeing is, is our kids are harming themselves. Uh, our kids are uh, committing suicide more. Our kids are suffering from anxiety and body issues um, than we, more, more than we've ever seen in the history of our state. And so uh, when we got to look into this, I served on a joint committee, uh, the Youth Health and Safety Committee, uh, during the interim, and we studied this issue in part. And um, yeah, I just got fired up about it. You know, I'm, I'm passionate about protecting our kids uh, through this bill and a number of others. And um, you know, this is something that is just a poison rotting the minds of our kids uh, and causing them to do things that they've never done in the numbers that they're doing in, in now. So uh, take us through the bill and sort of describe how it works. Yeah. So, you know, one of the biggest pieces of the bill is the age verification piece. So what the bill does is it says basically that if you're a social media company, you're prohibited from having minors as um, customers, you know, or, or users of your product. And so that big piece there is the age verification piece. There's a federal law in place that says that you have to be 13, but there's really no real course for them to figure out how old you are, the users uh, using the platform. So what this would do, and really the crux of the whole bill, is provide a photo ID um, requirement uh, for the social media companies are required to verify the age of their users. Uh, one of the other big pieces is that it would give parents the ability to remove their children's profile from a social media site as well. And so the bottom line is, is that uh, you know, during a time period when minors are hurting themselves and having more mental health issues than ever before, you know, we, we have to step in and do something. And I feel like this is an avenue to do that. That's great. So uh, if the bill is passed and it becomes law, what, what do you hope the bill would be? How would it improve the lives of Texans? You know, there's, there's a lot of things that we do in the state to protect the physical well-being of a child. You know, a child can't uh, purchase a handgun. A child can't purchase alcohol or tobacco. There's a number of things that we do to protect the physical well-being of a child. My hope would be that if this bill passes, that it is a major step toward putting uh, youth mental health on the same level as we do their physical well-being. And so I think that's the biggest thing that could possibly come out of this whole discussion. Number one, just the conversation itself that we're having about youth mental health is important and talking to parents about how dangerous uh, this is for their kids. Uh, so that conversation in and of itself is important, but also it's about you know actually seeing tangible results, which is you know, if we can get the kids off of this product that is ca causing so much harm, uh, then we'll have a healthier youth you know, for the next generation. So uh, some people would say the bill takes away the power of parents mm -hmm. uh, over, you know, their children and yeah. their technology use. How would you respond to that concern? You know, I'd say, you know, there's not a bigger advocate for parental rights uh, than I've been. And I've proven that over the last year and a half fighting, you know, sexually explicit materials in schools and other things, uh, you know, giving parents, uh, you know, more transparency into what's going on in certain circumstances. But, you know, I think that there are uh, things that we have decided um, as a society uh, that we are not going to allow children to do. I mean, we don't allow a child to go into a strip club. You know, we don't allow a child to uh, enter into contractual agreements. We don't allow children to do a number of things. Children can't even vote uh, in this country. And so 
um, there are a number of things that we as a society have said, look, I mean, this is this is a good thing maybe for uh, adults to do when it comes to voting or renting a car or what have you, but we're not going to allow children to do that. And this is just another example of that. The problem is, is that government is always going to lag technology. Government's always going to lag society. And so it's very difficult to take something away from people that have something, right? And, and there's a lot of young people on social media today. So the, it is a challenge. Uh, but I will tell you is that I've gotten so much support from the adults uh, out there who need help. Parents don't stand a chance against these social media companies. They just don't. This isn't a parental rights issue. This is an issue of social media companies with machine learned algorithms that get smarter every single time that child is using their product. Um, this is this is a product that they hire child psychologists to better to be able to better hook children onto social media. And so, you know, it's a big deal. Parents don't stand a chance against it. It's not as simple as going and saying, okay, I'm going to turn on this television show that's rated a certain thing and we're using this certain technology for the kids and everything. But, um, you yeah, know, this is a, a bigger deal. This is a different situation. Yeah. Um, so last question is, how can Texans get involved if uh, they want to support your effort to get the bill passed? Yeah, what we need is we need Texans. You know, Texans are really good about showing up at the Capitol and letting their voices be heard. And so we need to have that happen. You know, if we get uh, the bill heard in committee, which I'm confident that we'll at least get a hearing, um, that we need parents to show up and show out and talk about their own experiences. Unfortunately, there's some pretty traumatic experiences out there. Uh, but we also need them to contact their lawmakers, the House members, Senate members, uh, and let them know that, you know, they need uh, us to step in and to help protect their kids uh, from using this product. Just as a drug uh, would say that they have users, these social media companies have users, and the effect is really the same. That's wonderful. Representative Patterson, thank you for joining us. Thank today. you.